Hello, this video is just here as an anti-spoiler. I'm going to uh, upload this mp3 along with game one, so it actually looks like a real game. Uh, and you can actually watch some StarCraft happening. But I'm going to pick up where the post-game commentary left off at the end of game four, since just something to uh, fill the time with so the video isn't like two minutes long, because then it'd be obvious that it wasn't actually game five. So, anyway. Uh, here goes back to the post-game stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll have to look at for GG's Zerg play a little bit more. I'm not too familiar with it, but Jadong has been playing really well lately, uh, so I don't know. I was really hoping for epic uh, rematch finals too between Flash and Jadong, so that's really disappointing that we're not going to see that. Um, uh, <laughs> Jadong and, and uh, Fergigi are actually teammates as well, so that's going to be a little bit interesting to uh, to see the teammates playing against each other. That'll be kind of fun, but um, man. Yeah, I know his TVZ is, is pretty good um, percentage-wise, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's good enough to beat Jadong uh, necessarily. Uh, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Um, what is with Flash going for 14cc? I mean, come on. He... I, he <laughs> Has he, like, watched any of his games in the last three weeks? Uh, it's, it's, he's died so over and over and over again to his 14cc build. He's killed himself over and over again. It, it just hasn't worked because, guess what? Pro gamers scout, Flash. They know what you're doing and they can attack you. Um, I don't know. I don't know what he was yeah, doing. Yeah, Flash really left himself. Yeah, I think that was a huge disappointment for all Flash fans because he really left himself very, very open. But I don't... It wasn't so much so the 14cc that killed him. Well, I think the problem is that he went for the command center first in game 3 and managed to claw back a 2-0 deficit to 2-1. Uh, and that probably encouraged him to do it again. <laughs> so it was almost... Uh, it, it was almost like a poison chalice for Flash to win third game. But I mean, I suppose if he hadn't won that, he would have been out anyway. So he went for it again. I think... I, th I don't think it was the 14cc that killed him there. I think... If he was going to go 14cc on that particular map, there was no reason whatsoever for him to not wall off his choke. And I just cannot comprehend why he didn't do that. It just, you know, beggar's belief, regardless of his scouting, regardless of what 4GG was doing, it didn't matter what 4GG was doing. Flash should have walled off his choke, and he would have been fine. He would have been able to hold 4GG off, and he would have been in a comfortable yeah. position. Um, but he didn't do that, and he's going to unfortunately pay the price for it. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. He didn't necessarily play badly. He made a couple of bad decisions. But his, his overall play wasn't that bad. And yet, you know, unfortunately, at, at a pro level of StarCraft, that little bit is enough to cost you the tournament and, and kick you out of the tournament. And then you can lose your confidence and start slumping. And that's how slumps begin. Uh, but hopefully we'll see Flash come back. But it's disappointing for Flash getting out in the quarterfinals to Luxury in the OSL and now in the semifinals to 4GG in the MSL. And he's not going to make a single final this season. Uh, and it's a, it's, it, one has to wonder whether... Again, we're, we're back to this whole cycle where since Savior, really, there hasn't been a player who's been able to dominate for any decent period of time. Savior had a, had a good period of dominance. He won three MSLs well, in a Bisu. row. He then won the OSL. Um, well, Bisu's, Bisu, yes, he won two MSLs in a row, but his, his dominance was nothing like Savior's, I have to say. Uh, Savior yeah. really was the last player to really dominate the StarCraft scene totally for a, consi for a considered length of time. And we, we thought first Jadong was going to do that, and Flash came back. And we thought Flash was going to do it, and it looks like he's not going to be able to either. Uh, and I think it just shows how competitive it's gotten. That's true. That's a really good point. I keep hoping for these... I keep hoping for some player to really come out. It, I don't know. It makes me... It, for me, at least, it's kind of good to know that there's a player that just isn't going to be beaten. It's just good to know that you can have confidence in them just being complete Onzor. Uh, and it's been disappointing to have both Jadong and Flash. And it was really cool to have two of them at once, actually, that both couldn't be beaten. And then there were, like, these two titans among men that could only battle each other. Um, but, um... So it's really disappointing to have them not playing at the top of their game. Hopefully, uh, Jadong will show us some better StarCraft. Flash is still in the semifinals of the GOM TV Intel Classic, uh, whatever credence you put in that um, uh, league. He's going to be facing. Yeah, Backo I saw that as well on IRC. In a, yeah, in a couple I, I have weeks. to say again, I yeah, I, I don't think the pro the pro players give the GOM TV Intel Classic as much 
weight as they do to the OSL and the MSL. I think in, in, or, in terms of prestige, prestige is probably OSL, then MSL, then Pro League, and then GOM TV Intel Classic. Because be, just simply because that competition hasn't been around as long. It's a new competition that just started up this year, and yeah. um, the, the player pool was obviously not as strong as the pool we've we've seen in the MSL or the OSL. So uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think Flash himself will put. Obviously, he'll want to win something. He'll want to win a tournament, and that might do his confidence a world of good if he does. But I don't think that Flash would, the, the StarCraft Flash himself would put as much weight on the GOM TV Intel Classic as he would do on the OSL Championship. And in, in a way, yeah. it, it does sadden me a little bit. We had so much hype for the OSL Finals. July versus Best. It was just going to be perfect, and it was perfect. Um, and unfortunately, Jadong versus 4GG does, does, just does not have that same ring to it. No, it doesn't. Um, uh, real quick, I do want to shout out uh, that the, uh, let's see, Jadong versus Yoon, Yoonjung is going to be just in a few days, so you guys should check that out. I've been watching all of Tasteless' commentaries. He's doing an excellent, excellent job, and uh, you can tune into that um, in a few days on Sunday, it looks like. Uh, and you can always watch the VODs on GOMTV.net. Just wanted to make sure people were aware of that in case people uh, hadn't. The one thing I did want to mention about the, the GOM TV Classic is that Flash and Backo, they're going to be playing in the semifinal, and this is it's Flash's last league for the season. So, yes, while it's the least prestigious league, league it's all he has left, so he's going to be able to pr practice for the next 10 days solid to beat Backo. Backo's team is also a pro league, so Backo's going to be able to practice his butt off for that match as well, so I think it should be competitive. And, uh... Anybody's watching the stream, looks like this guy's playing WoW. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Anyways, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, everybody who came out to listen to us. We really appreciate this, guys. We, we really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you coming out to support us. And, it, you know, this just, for me, it just really, really overwhelms me how, how many people, I mean, we fill up vent, uh, we, get, we get a lot of people on our audio stream, and ju that just really... Uh, really humbles me a lot that that we have so many people just coming out to to support us and to help us and to you know let us know hey uh, you guys are doing awesome and and I just want to thank everybody who's listening uh, I just want to thank you for doing that and for being here and supporting us in the wee er, uh, hours of the morning and I I'm looking forward to uh, the 4GG versus Jadong uh, I you know. I don't know. Now that 4GG is beating Flash, can he take down the Legend Killer? We're just going to have to find out next weekend. Yeah, um, I don't know. Flash didn't really play like much of a Legend today. But again, I, I mean, it was just a couple of moments here and there. If we look at Game 1, 2, and 3, if we, if we, if we cast our eyes back on the, on, on the match, or even game, up to Game 4, Game 1, Flash, a little bit overconfident, doesn't scout. Pushes out with the siege tanks when he thinks he's in a strong position too early. Gets caught off guard, loses. Um, game two, again, we could we could argue that Flash was slightly overconfident. Um, didn't really get a scout off, um, and still, despite the fact that 4GG could had open run of his base, persisted with his starport, fell behind, couldn't win. Um, game three, he got lucky. 4GG th had game three in the bank, and he made a mistake, and Flash got lucky, even though he played well. Um, 4GG should have really closed it out and game 4 again so Flash making key mistakes I guess and really rudimentary mistakes his overall play is solid but he seems to just be tactically or psychologically he wasn't there today he, his, he wasn't on, on his game and that's why he's out but anyway yeah, I think um, again I apologize for the craptastic nature of the lag the stream was I mean, we're very grateful to Zadik for the stream, but unfortunately it didn't work out in terms of being able to do a commentary on it. So I'm going to try and see what I can figure out for next time and hopefully get something better working. And if I can, we'll, we'll, we'll find a solution to that. Uh, but we'll let you guys know beforehand exactly what's going to be happening. Hopefully there will be some sort of live coverage, but if I, if I find, I'm going to try tomorrow actually and, and see if I can get the GOM player or whatever working for the Pro League or the DOM player and see how much lag there is during the matches. And if there isn't any, I'm going to try and go ahead and cast the... The finals, but otherwise I might end up not doing. You might still get a triple cast, but I might not be involved in that if I find it too laggy. I might just do my own commentary. Later. Yeah. By the way, um, tomorrow, come on back here tomorrow for uh, the Pro League playoffs. OGN versus STX, oh, yeah. myself and Diggity, and uh, we're not sure if we're gonna grab anyone else for that. We might just do an old school Mole Trap Diggity duel. Uh, we'll see what happens, but that's going on tomorrow night. So check that out. I think that basically, I think in game two, it was kind of a, a 
a, a build order loss. I think game three was also, well, I mean, he obviously flashed one game, game three. Uh, I think that was, I, I think that was also, uh, well, like, like you said, it was because for Gigi just kind of a little bit too anxious and, uh, just kind of threw it away a little bit. Wait, but I, think I think you've got the time wrong. What? Um, yeah, the, the playoffs are on Saturday, not Friday. So it's... Day oh, oh, yeah, well, it's I'm Friday sorry, night I'm sorry. for it's, us. It's not tomorrow, There's one You're day right. and 18 I'm, hours I'm, to go. I'm, I'm on crack. It's, um... July is right. not playing a 1v1. July is not playing a 1v1 in that. Oh, do they have the, uh... Really? It's up, yeah. July is, July is playing the 2v2 in set 3, unfortunately. He's not playing wow. the 1v1. 